Did you know that nine out of 10 businesses fail? By a show of hands, how many people in this room have ever owned a business? Great, keep your hand up if you currently own a business. And keep your hand up if the business you own today is the same business you owned when you first owned the business. Okay, did you guys see how quickly all those hands dwindled? <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, <laughs> fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Back when I was in college, I came across a statistic in one of my te textbooks that stated that nine out of 10 small businesses will fail. And as a business student, I thought, well, that doesn't sound very fun. What are my chances of being that one in 10? I couldn't believe that that statistic was true, so I reread that statement over and over and over again. I probably read it seven or eight times before I realized I actually was reading the words, nine out of 10 businesses will fail. I'm not one that typically believes everything that I hear or see or even read. So I did my research and I, I looked into it and I found that unfortunately that, that statistic is actually true. It's pretty accurate, even to this day, 10 years later. And I thought, I thought this is the land of opportunity. They see America as the land of opportunity. Why in the world would somebody want to come here to America, own a business, own a home, live the American dream, if the chances of success are only 10%. So again, as a young business student, I thought, what can I do to ensure my success? And not only my success, but the success of the other business students here and the other businesses in my area. So, Robert Kiyosaki, one of my favorite authors, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he has a famous quote that states, if nine out of 10 businesses fail, my foolproof plan is to own 10 businesses. <laughs> <laughs> While I believe that Robert Kiyosaki is a genius and that could definitely be a foolproof plan, I don't believe that you need to own 10 businesses in order to be successful. So I thought, what if somebody could find the reason why these businesses are failing and help them to succeed based on true reason. So for the past decade since I graduated college, I have been doing a lot more research. I've been attending a lot more events. I've had the opportunity to be exposed to a lot of different business activities. And I've met so many people that I don't even know I can count that high anymore. Mm -hmm. And through my experiences, I've learned that the failed businesses have one common denominator and it's lack, a lack of three things. Most of the business owners I talked to that either had a business or had 10 businesses or even 20 in the past, and as they explained to me their reasoning for why that business didn't make it, I've learned that it's a lack of knowledge and education to learn the skills that you need to learn, a lack of resources to get to the next level in your business, and a lack of connections to get you connected to the right people to help your business move up in the middle. So what I've done is I've developed a program that equips business owners with those three things. I give them the education and the knowledge to learn the skills that they need to take their business forward. I give them the resources that maybe they don't realize they even need and they say, I'm struggling with this. Well, you know what can help you is this. And then what I think is the most important part of the equation is the connections. I connect them with the people who can help them grow their business. Sometimes one, one relationship leads to another relationship. Sometimes that one relationship leads to 10 relationships and sometimes to 100. So never underestimate the power of a connection. So with all my findings, I come to the conclusion that we can do something about this. America still can be the land of opportunity. I'm not sure if anybody believes it is at this moment, but it definitely can be. So ladies and gentlemen, my mission and my purpose in this life is to increase the success rate of small businesses throughout our nation, one small business at a time. And you can help. So when you go to shop for your everyday needs, whether that's a nice cute outfit, some nice boots, some gas for your car, the makeup that you put on your face, the food that you're ingesting in your body, 
Whatever it is that you shop for on a daily basis, I urge you to shop with a small business. Because when you shop small, you're not just shopping. You are putting food in a family's mouth. You are putting a child through school, and you are helping a small business to succeed. And if you're a business owner now or in the future, I cannot stress to you enough the importance of working on your business. We spend so much time working in our business, trying to make money to provide today's income, that we forget to grow our business by working on it and focusing on the things that can really build our business and give jobs to more people and sustain our success for long, long after we're gone so we can leave a legacy. So I urge you to take the time and learn the skills and the knowledge that you need to learn for your business, whatever your trade, take the time and learn that. Take the time to find the resources that you need for your business. If you have a problem with, the, say for the guy before talked about social media, if, you have, if you're stuck with social media and you can't figure out why you can't get past these ads on Facebook and you just want people to find you but there's all these ads, ask people because somebody you know knows somebody who can help you with that. So take the time to find the right resources Take the time to make the right connections because, like I said, the connections are the most powerful part of business. People are more important than anything in the nation, especially our youth. They're our future. So as a business owner, I urge you to focus on working on your business. As a consumer, I urge you to shop small because if America is or ever will be, the land of opportunity, it's our job as Americans to keep that dream alive.